Hi guys, happy Monday and welcome back to another edition to the <clears throat> Money Motivated Monday. So I am tired to say the least. Yesterday I had a long drive, um, a few hours, five hours drive from North Carolina back to Georgia after visiting my family and taking care of some business in North Carolina. And uh, luckily and thankfully, I'm off today for my, my job, my day job. And uh, I'm actually launching a fall collection for the online e-commerce store that we have. So it's uh, it's been a busy day, but mostly so far, and it's actually just like 11 something or maybe like right at noon now. So it feels like I'm like further along in the day because I've done so much already this morning from taking my children to school to like talking on the phone to reps. Like it's just been a really super busy day um, already, right? So I'm looking forward to just wrapping everything up and getting to just relax for a little bit. But anyway, today's topic is um, really focusing on paying off debt. So if you follow the Dave Ramsey plan, which I do, this is what I'm doing now, you know to put your your debts in order from smallest to largest. So my smallest debt currently is um, the remaining balance from the car that I had. I had a 2011 Toyota Camry, and it was total loss and a wreck that I had, um, I think it was in January of this year. So this year is going by so fast, it's crazy. But yeah, so... Unfortunately, I didn't have gap insurance, which I didn't even know anything about. Um, and so my uh, insurance, they paid off the car, the balance. Like uh, I think it was, I had like ten thousand dollars still left on the car, and it was upside down. Um, so that just that means that obviously the car, the balance of the loan that I was financing on the car is was more than the car is actually worth so because of that i think that's really the main reason why they totally lost the car and um so the balance they paid out seven thousand and then the balance was like thirty five hundred dollars so i got a letter and they were like you know this is the balance i'm just like Ugh. so anyway if i if you heard my other story i told you guys that i paid twenty five hundred dollars for this car that i have now and um so i own this car and so I'm not complaining because I'd much rather pay $3,500 rather than paying off $10,000. And that would have been where I would have started as far as my smallest, largest debt. Um, because I have student loans and those are more than the car. So right around the time that I started thinking about the whole Dave Ramsey pay, uh, pay off debt um, program, that's when I had my wreck. So it was kind of weird how it happened Thank God I knew about the whole process and I knew, okay, let's not try to go get a new car. Let's try to find a car that I can pay cash for and looking at, look at this as a blessing in disguise because um, at this point now, I don't have $10,000 to pay off. I just had the 3500 But thankfully, um, now it we actually did a settlement, so um, the balance is actually set. It was $1,800 last month when I spoke to them. So I called them back today to set up uh, arrangements, and it's actually seventeen ninety. And I, based on my plan, as far as when I pay everything based around my my paychecks and things like that, um, I won't use. I'll be saving another thousand dollars next payday, which is next week. So I'll be paying off debt with the following paycheck, um, not the last week of October, but the week before that one. So uh, I scheduled that payment for that week. And they want me to pay $10 today just to kind of get the settlement started. And I told them, which is what they recommended, that I need this in writing. So the balance, the settlement balance is $17.90. And I need it in writing. They're going to send me a letter out with that balance on it. And then I'll be able to pay it online instead of them trying to get my account number. You're not getting my account number. You're not going to draft out $3,000 out of my account because I already know, like, this is what Dave, Dave told us, you know, he taught us. In this, in the YouTube video that he was talking about, um, you know, paying off debts, whatever. So I'm thankful that I know that because I was really about to get this man my, and I'm just, I would have been so mad. <laughs> so um, I got that set up. I'm going to call him, pay the $10. The letter's already out, going out today. Excited about that. Um, I got to set up my bank account with a community bank 
And I found one I think I want to go to. Um, but I think I'll go and set that up next week when I have my second to that my second thousand dollar bundle. So I'll be putting two thousand dollars in my new account and for savings. And because I'm leaving the big bank, I'm not gonna say which bank I'm with, but I'm leaving them. And the last straw was today when they wouldn't take off the twenty four dollar maintenance fee. Now I don't use this account because I have a card that I use. Because I get my paychecks two days early. So I'm not about to no. So if I had direct deposit my account, my check to this one savings account that I have, then I wouldn't have a fee. But I don't want my money going to that account because I want my money early. Like, you know, it's my preference. So y'all y'all wanna try twenty four dollars for that? I'm sorry. You know, no. So I'm going with what ba- uh what Dave recommended, which is to go to a community bank or a credit union. So I'll be setting it up next week. Um, I feel really good. I know it's weird to feel good about paying off debt. Like it's eight hundred dollars this month that I'll be paying toward debt, two hundred dollars in retirement savings, and one thousand dollars toward emergency funds. So in the matter of two months, I will be I will have twenty two hundred dollars saved and eleven hundred dollars paid toward debt in two months. So that's now, if I wasn't paying that out, that's a lot of money to just be putting in my pocket or go shopping with. But I'm using it in a positive manner, and it's going to pay off in 16 more months. I'm so excited because I think about how much money I'll have just to give out to people. You know, not give out to everybody just like that, but to help people. Once, But I have to stay focused on my goal of paying off debt and saving, and it feels really good. So I hope that motivates you guys. Even if you're not saving a thousand dollars a month, you can still be a part of this. If yours is fifty dollars a month, every time you you hear me say, "Oh, I'm putting a thousand dollars up," you you know it should trigger you to say, "Oh, let me make sure I put my fifty that my fifty dollars up or this my hundred dollars up this month, whatever." Like that's what it's all about. It's not about competing or seeing who who can save the most. It's nothing like that. Like you have to do what's best for your situation. Um, Two years ago, I couldn't. I wouldn't even be able to save a thousand dollars a month. Like it just wouldn't be feasible. Um, but my income has increased, thank God, and you know, worked to this point. So I'm excited about that. But I know I have to do right by my money and do right by my blessing that God has given me. So uh, that's exactly what I'm doing because I could really be splurging right now. I could really be shopping right now, but it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, That's my video for today. You guys definitely tune in and look at all the videos. I'm almost at 6,000 lifetime views. And once I get to 10,000, I'll become an official YouTube partner. I'm so excited about that. And that will help fund uh, some productions that I have coming up next year. And uh, you guys should stay tuned. Definitely check out my store website, www.lulubinc.com. We have some new material, new products for the fall. So excited about that too. And um, stay with me. Happy Monday.